Okay, so here is the uh, fuel cell on my CRF 250L. Um, how it works is um, obviously the gas goes in there. And then um, I've got this fitting here. It goes to fuel filter because I don't want anything bad getting in the gas tank. Um, obviously the fuel pump has a filter, but it never hurts to filter twice. And then this connects to the tank vent. So as fuel gets pulled out of this tank, this, um, you know, there's a partial gravity feed, but the vacuum that that creates pulls the gas out of here and up into the main tank. So um, both tanks are vented through this hose, through this tank. Um, it works pretty good. Um, and uh, I've got two baffle plates in here to keep it from sloshing. And uh, as you can see, I used you know, just about every mounting point along here. And then uh, if I go around the back here, I've got um, this piece here dimple dyed and that goes to the bolt on this side. So it's, it's pretty sturdy. Um, as you can tell, the paint's a little wrinkled. Um, it looked good until I put it out in the sun and it really cured. And I think it's just the black and the white cured at different rates and wrinkled it. But you know, this is, this bike is no beauty queen. So whatever. It's, it's stainless steel. Everything on here is stainless steel except for this brass rollover valve and that brass barb there. Um, and this is aluminum, but otherwise everything's stainless. Um, what this rollover vent does is it allows air in and air out except when there's fluid pressure on it. So if I tip the bike over, there's a little check ball in here that comes up and it doesn't let anything in or out. Um, that way you're not spilling gas everywhere. So um, I, I just filled this today. I had the bike on its side stand and I put 2.88 gallons in here. Um, I could probably fit another, maybe another quart, quart and a half of gas if I had it straight vertical, but I don't want to do that. Um, that's, it's hard to balance a bike and fill it. So 2.88 gallons, that holds two. Um, I can get up to 72 miles per gallon on this thing when I'm being nice to it, but I use 60 as a conservative estimate because I know even if I'm doing highway, you know, 65 miles an hour, I'm going to get 60 miles per gallon on this. So you figure that out, that comes to 292 miles, and that's a conservative estimate. So with that, I can go out riding all day long. I don't have to worry about uh, going out of my way to get into town for gas. I can stop at scenic overlooks or just out on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere for a rest break. So um, also it'll be nice when I'm commuting back and forth to work. That's my whole work week. I don't have to fill up on gas once. So uh, that's the fuel tank. That was my project. Uh, gotten a few rides in on it. It works really well. So just thought I'd share that with everybody.